hi everyone welcome back to the channel this is the next video in the additional skill rpa developer series and the topic which we have chosen was databases today i am going to guide you guys that how actually you can install the post gray sql and then in the upcoming videos we are going to see that how we can actually connect the post gray sql to uipath Now many of you might be thinking that Mukesh we are already doing the SSMS we have installed the SQL server why actually I require the PostgreSQL how it is different and if it is different how I can connect it with UiPath. So this is the first video where I am going to talk about the PostgreSQL database and how you can install that in your computer. If I talk about the agenda so this is our agenda we are going to talk about what exactly is the PostgreSQL how does it differentiate from the SQL server next we are going to talk about how we can install the PostgreSQL what are the websites to use which version to use and lastly once it is successfully installed how we can actually launch the executable right how we can actually launch the GUI so all of this we are going to do in a step by step manner. So let's get started by looking at the first topic, which is what exactly is a PostgreSQL. In case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the latest updates. Talking about what exactly is a PostgreSQL. So this is the world most advanced open source relational database right PostgreSQL is a powerful open source object relational database system with 35 years of active development and it has got a strong reputation in terms of reliability features robustness and the performance to know more about the PostgreSQL, we simply have to go to this website, which is called PostgreSQL.org. I have put link in the description for directly referencing, right? In this website, you simply have to go in this tab, which is about section. And here we can quickly read about what exactly is this PostgreSQL and why I should use it, right? So what exactly is a PostgreSQL? Same like we have SSMS, right? Which is Relational Database Management System. PostgreSQL is also a database management system which also follows the concept of RDMS, but it is a object relational database management system. Now, you might be thinking why actually should I use the PostgreSQL? So this answer is written here, right? It comes with many feature which aims the developer to build the application, administrator to protect the data integrity and build a fault tolerant environment. It also help you to manage your data no matter how big or how small the data set is. And the best part that it is free and open source, making it highly extensible. Also, PostgreSQL tries to confirm with the SQL standards. So when we learn more about this, you will see that it is following the concept. It is following the syntax of your SQL only. It is a slight different, but most of the syntax, most of the functions are exactly same as the SQL. So that was a bit about the PostgreSQL. Okay. Now for the people who already have a background of SQL Server or any relational database, you might be thinking that how actually this thing differentiate, right? So I have gone to a page which is from Google, which is called cloud.google.com and I have put this link also in the description, right? If you read here, this has two sections which are important. One talks about the SQL Server and the PostgreSQL similarities and the next section is about the differences, right? If I talk about the similarities, both of them are using the relational database management system. So I hope now you understand what is RDBMS. We have already discussed in detail what is RDBMS, right? So not going much there. 
so both of them are an rdbms in terms of performance security scalability and usability both includes the relational database features and provide some compatibility to extensive range of small and large application right so this talks about the similarity the major thing is what exactly is the difference right so sql server is a rdbms postgres sql is also rdbms but it is object relational database management system right sql server is a product from microsoft which means that if you are using it for enterprises you need to pay however the postgre sql is open source which means that it is completely free no license cost sql server runs on microsoft or linux operating system whereas the postgre sql can work on most of the machine and the operating system sql server uses the tsql which is also known as the trans sql which is nothing but a standard sql plus some extra functionalities PostgreSQL on the other hand uses the standard SQL, right? So these are the key basic differences between the SQL Server and the PostgreSQL, right? To know more about both of them, to read more about the pros and cons, I have put this link also in the description. Now that we have seen what exactly is a PostgreSQL and we have also seen what is the difference between the SQL Server. Let's try to download the PostgreSQL. For that, you simply have to come to this website, which is postgreSQL.org. I have posted all the links in the description. In this page, you simply have to go to this button, which says download. And now it will show you which operating system you want to download the PostgreSQL for. You can download it for Linux, Mac, Windows, Solaris, depending on your operating system. For me, I am working on Windows. So I'll simply go here and I click on this guy, which is Windows. Once you click on Windows, you would be redirected to a page, which is called Windows Installer. Here you will get all the information related to the 64-bit and the 32-bit and which version of PostgreSQL you should use. Okay. Now here at the top, you have something which is called download the installer certified by EDB. I'll just simply go here and click on this guy, which says download the installer. Once I click on download the installer, it is now coming to a new website, which is called enterprisedb.com. And here you would have all the version for all the different operating systems. I am working on windows and my computer is a 64 bit operating system. If you are working on Windows and you have a 32 bit, just use this. If you are on Mac, just select this one. Okay. Now, since I want to use the latest one, so I'll use on 15.3 and I'll simply click on this download kind of icon. And now I should get started with the download, right? As you can see at the bottom, the postgreSQL.exe is getting downloaded. Once it is downloaded successfully, all you have to do is just double click on this and do the installation. So we'll just wait for the download to complete. Once the exe is successfully downloaded, it might be in your download folders or it would be available like this as you can see on my screen, right? All you have to do is just double click on the exe and this should start the installation for you. Once you double click on that, you might get an pop up which says that do you want to allow this make changes to the computer? I simply say yes. Once we click yes, we should get a setup window which is called setup PostgreSQL. All you have to do is just click on this guy which says next. It is going to ask you where do you want to install this PostgreSQL and this works for me. If you want, you can set up it at the different installation directory as well. I'll hit next. Now this window is asking you what are the components you require when you are working with the PostgreSQL, right? So for me, I require all of them. So you can decide, right? But PG admin four is required because if you want to have the front end of the PostgreSQL, then we would require PG admin four, right? So I'm going to leave this to the default settings and I simply go here and I say next. I'll keep this data directory also to the default settings and I'll say next. Now here it is going to ask you for a password. Now this password is the database super user password. 
and the username for this super user is post grace it's not double s it's a single s please remember this the username is post g r e s this is the same database username you would require whenever you want to connect as a super user right now i am going to set a password for it so i am just going to set up a password you can set up it as per your requirement right but just remember the password whatever you are doing here right and the username is post gress right i'll say next this is your port that which port should the database listen to so the port number is 5432 i leave it to the default setting i hit next right now here it is asking you for the location right if you want to change it you can change it from here but if you just leave it to default local that should also work right so i'll say next and next setup is now ready to begin install postgresql on a computer i say next and then all we have to do is just wait for this installation to get completed once the processing is successfully completed we should get a message which say that we have completed the postgresql setup wizard do you want to install the stack builder also so as of now we don't want stack builder so i'll uncheck this and i'll simply click on this button which says finish and this completes the installation of the postgresql on your computer now once the installation is completed if i go to the start menu and if i simply search here postgre i am not getting anything which shows me to start it right now the question arises how do you actually launch the postgre sql right so which means that how do you get the gui the graphical user interface for the postgre right so for that you have to go to your my computer select the drive where you actually installed it right so we install it on the c drive i'll go to the program files this is the same location guys which we have selected during the installation inside the program file you would have a folder which is called postgresql which is this one double click on it then select the version we selected the 15th if you selected a different version you would have that folder here inside the 15 you would have a folder which is called pg admin 4 right inside 15 go to pg admin 4 inside the pg admin 4 then you go to the folder which is called runtime and here you would have something which is called pg admin 4. exe right so this is an executable file which we actually want to use to execute the front end so to execute i simply go here and i double click on this one and you would see something which is called pg admin is starting right so just wait for this thing to get started okay so the folder path again i'll just repeat c program file postgresql 15 pg admin 4 and runtime right if you do not find runtime here you might have a folder which is called bin but the exe that which we have to use is this one which is called pg admin 4 what you can alternatively do is you can just create a shortcut for this exe so just right click on it and i'll just say send to desktop right so that way i do not have to go again and again and look for this path once you open this pg admin 4 you would get this start wizard right so this is your home for the pg admin which is also known as the postgre admin right i'll go to the server here and now it is asking you for the password please enter the password for the user postgres remember the super user password put the same password which you inserted during the installation i'll save this password and i'll say okay and that is how you can connect to the postgre sql once the operation is completed successfully you would see all the objects of the pg admin 4 including the databases catalogs triggers schemas everything 
right? Inside the schemas, you would see all the things which are provided by the PostgreSQL, right? Okay, so now I hope you guys were able to follow along and you have also installed the PostgreSQL in your computer. In the upcoming videos of the series, we are going to see how we can create a database, create a tables, and then we are also going to connect this with the UI path, right? So let's quickly recap. PostgreSQL is a powerful open source object relational database system that is used to extend the SQL language combined with many features. It is open source, which means it is completely free. We have also seen that it can run on most of the machine and most of the operating system. And we have also learned the difference between the SQL Server and the PostgreSQL, right? All the download links, all the documentation links are available in the description for your references. Okay, so that is all for this video. I would like to wrap this video here. I hope this was insightful. If you have any more questions, any more doubts, feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well. I would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see. So with that, I would wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and Happy Automation.